What's up guys? Dylan 2B Progressive Soccer. Just want to show you a few clips from a little session I did with a young girl. I think she's about 14 years old. Good player. I'll just take you through this session and just kind of talk about what we're doing and also like things to think about whether you're a coach or you're a player yourself just training yourself on your own, how to be your own best trainer if you're working with younger players, things I like to do to get the most out of a session. So first warm up, always just like little one touch passes, get the feet going right foot, left foot, then I'll go back and forth from dynamics. So warming up the body, but I just don't like to do five minutes straight dynamics and then go into some light ball work. I just love to mix it up, especially with the kids because it keeps them more engaged. So here playing in one touch, but I'm just getting her to do some lateral movement. So I'm actually almost trying to trick her. I'll let her get her feet set in the middle and then I just want quick footwork from side to side and an accurate pass back. But sometimes I'll, I'll make her go left a few times, right a few times, and just working on that sharpness, getting the feet moving rather than just standing on the spot. So a little more stretching, dynamic stretching. Remember static I might do after, static I might do like as a recovery to release tension, but warm ups always dynamic. All different types of kicks. And actually when you're doing the stretches, like think about the muscle. Am I actually feeling a stretch in the muscle or am I just doing the movement? So many people just waste their time when they're doing warm ups. So here we're actually playing a little game. It's a game I call ass. And basically you're playing one touch with your partner but you're putting pace, you're challenging them with your passes, and if you screw up, you get a letter. And if you get three screw ups, that will spell ass, then I get to kick the ball at your ass. So playing one touch, the ball has to be on the ground. If it's playable, you have to try to play it. If it's played at like knee height or head height, chest height, obviously that's a, a mistake, that's an error. But just have fun with it, stay light on your toes, test your partner's touch. Don't like strike it at them, but Put a bit of pace on the passes, make them feel it. And it's a fun game, it's a little, a good little warm up game that I like to do with my players just to keep the mood light, but also get the touches going and get that movement going. And it's actually a really good game to get you sharper and improve your ability to play one touch football. First of all, if you're the type of player who doesn't like doing one touch drills because you just want to take 10 touches on the ball, change that mindset. Real football is played with one, two touches. The skills are used in specific areas, but most of the time, if you watch a professional match, it's all one touch, two touch football. So it's easy to play one touch when the ball is rolling at you nicely, it's, it's on the ground. But can you play when the ball's whipped in with pace, coming from different directions, you are running at the same time, so I like, this, I like this drill a lot and just the mindset of, of loving to play one-touch football. So again, if you're the loser, you get the ball kicked at your butt and that's how that game ended. Moving forward, I went into just a bit of two-touch here. This is, I still consider this like warm-up. I like to do one-touch, two-touch, uh, a couple quick touches, lots of dynamic exercises, and then I'll go into some actual drills that I had planned for the session. Here just a bit of two touch juggling, keeping the ball up. And based on the player's ability, I would usually put a number. So if I think they're pretty good, I say, okay, let's get 50 passes without dropping the ball. If they're just starting out, maybe 10 passes is a good goal. But something that's challenging and when there's a, a target on the drill, a target on the goal, everyone's just a little more engaged, there's a little more focused. And when you're screwing up with simple touches and passes it's usually not down to your technique it's down to a lack of focus so even the best players can screw up all the time if they're not mentally focused but i guess the best players are mentally focused all the time that's what makes them so good did a little bit of one touch juggling and then we went into some actual drills here so first one i'm just telling her i don't want you to side skip i want quick footwork lateral movement and then we're gonna do all these different types of touches. Just starting with one touch inside the foot technique and I'll just do a little demo and then I would let her do the majority of the work. But as you can see, yes, the touch is important. That ball has to go back every time. If you're giving service, even more important. If your service isn't good, you screw up the whole drill. So don't overlook these little passes, especially if you're playing one touch. I see a lot of trainers will go on the on the ground and like throw it with their hands and and I understand that but for me I'm always trying to like I'm training myself while I'm training 
players, so I'm always doing with my feet and focus on my one touch with my service. Here's the outside of the foot, so when you're doing this, just really lean over the ball. Don't be standing up straight, definitely don't be leaning back, and you want to get your body over it, especially with that outside of the foot, it's a little awkward for most players because they haven't developed this technique. But if you practice this skill a lot, you're going to find that you almost prefer passing the ball with the outside of your foot. You feel like you have more control over, over the bend and it's just a nice little quick release pass. So here we did a two touch and I told her you can use any technique you want. You can receive inside of the foot, outside of the foot, uh, with the sole, whatever you want. Just do it quickly and focus on the weight of your touch. It has to be strong enough to get past the cone, the cone being the defender in this drill. If your touch is too weak, it's gonna get stuck in your feet, can't play quick enough. So really lean over that first touch, focus, put your eyes on the ball, on a specific point of the ball, where do you want the ball to go, guide it with your touch, guide it with your body movement, and then obviously play an accurate pass back. Next drill, just the opposite. So instead of going in to out, I went out to in. Just a little bit different technique, variations, playing with inside, outside the foot. Just focus on doing it quickly. Not panicking, not rushing, but get out of this First touch, there's like a second pause between, and then you play your pass. You want touch pass, touch pass, touch pass. And in order to do that, you have to have the right mentality, but also focusing on your footwork, your movement, not just the touches. So next we went into a bit of a half volley, so I'm, I'm meeting that ball right after the bounce and focusing on putting it right back into my partner's hands. It's not good enough just to hit in their general direction. If they have to jump, if they have to bend over, you're not accurate enough. Focus on putting that right in their hands so they don't even have to move their hands. I want you to have that type of focus and that type of precision on your passing. It's not good enough just to give it to your teammate. You have to put it on the exact spot, on the right foot or the left foot, into space or behind them to protect them from the defender. You have to have that attention to detail if you want to become a better player and, and play at the higher levels. So here in the air, half volley, again, focus on the movement. When this is coming down, I'm really actually watching the ball to the middle of my foot so I can make a nice, clean contact. A lot of players, they're already looking up before they even make contact with the ball. So actually watch that, open up your foot, really flex it, pass that into your partner's hands. Here we did a two touch, and again, I just asked for variety. Sometimes throw to the chest, sometimes to the feet, sometimes to the thighs, switch it up force them to be on their toes, so you're not predictable, and just learning to receive and control the ball in different ways. And again, playing quickly, touch pass, touch pass. So this girl, she's got quality. This is the first time I actually trained her because we just went to install this turf in her garage. So this is another side business I'm doing. Homesportsturf.com, I'll do a shout out right here. I can only service you if you're in Calgary, Alberta, Canada at the moment, but we'll be going worldwide in a couple years.